What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. We are going to cover off today's upgrades or last night's upgrades a little bit later than I wanted today. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching. If you missed yesterday's, uh, we covered off all of the upgrades so far. We had three more games in the Euros yesterday and wow, there were some shock results. First of all, of course, uh, Albania beating, um, sorry, Romania beating, I can't remember who they beat. That's, that's how, that's how, that's how uh, bad it was. Was it, was it Ukraine that they beat, wasn't it? Um, yes, it was indeed. Uh, Romania beating Ukraine and then Slovakia beating Belgium as well, which was crazy. France getting a tough 1-0 win against Austria. And off the back of that, EA have yet to upgrade Adrian Rabio. Of course, he's had his showdown card. Card has not been upgraded yet. Hopefully, it will be upgraded soon. Um, I was expecting it to be upgraded by now, of course, but it is not there. So we have got, guys, the Path to Glory cards from the France game. So William Saliba has been upgraded, and straight away, this card is unreal. Um, he has been given, in terms of the boost, one pace, one shooting, one defense. He's, he's been given the flat one. The flat one across the board. Um, his card price hasn't really moved too much. I think he's so expensive anyway uh, that it wasn't really going to move very much. And this card's like a really interesting one now because his dribbling is ridiculously good for a centre-back. He's got four-star weak foot. His passing is good. He's lengthy. And with the anchor, of course, he remains lengthy and has, apart from 89 heading accuracy, maxed out defensive stats. Okay, one off on the interceptions. Apart from the 81 stamina, uh, he's got maxed out physical stats. And then he's 97 sprint speed, 95 acceleration whilst being lengthy. I've loved Saliba cards all year this year. Of course, as an Arsenal fan, I've used all different versions of him. Evo versions, SBC versions, his team of the season, which is brilliant. You know, if you actually look at this card now compared to his team of the season, it's like quite an increase. Seven acceleration, threes and fours in other places. But when you look at the price points of the difference in them, this one here is only 373000 Versus this one being 2.6 million. But Saliba has been upgraded. Kola Moani has got his chemistry boost. Uh, he's got one of five appearances. No goals or assists. Jonathan Klaus has been upgraded. I think, isn't he the season pass player? I don't think, yeah, he is. I actually don't think he's accessible at the moment. Um, so it's interesting <laughs> because he's been upgraded. Uh, he's been given two long passes. No stamina, obviously, or acceleration. Now that he's at 99 sprint speed, though, is good. If he does get another upgrade, it'll be plus twos in a certain category. Um, and then ones across the board. Um, this, this is just a, a very good card, you know, especially for a season pass card uh, once you can get there. I think for me, he's dribbling so good. He's got max pace. I think a backbone is the smart chemistry style, um, in my personal opinion. This uh, ME and C... Oh, is that what it makes him in terms of... Uh, yeah, controlled, explosive, controlled. Okay, that's his accelerate. So yeah, I'd be going for a backbone. Gives him insane defending, insane physicals, insane dribbling. He's got good shooting for a fullback, insane pace, and great passing as well. So Jonathan Klaus there getting his plus one. Bradley Barcola, the SBC card. I still can't believe how cheap this SBC is slash was. I'm not quite sure if it's still active. Um, have a look. Is it still active? Yeah, I mean, it looks like it is still active, right? Yeah. Uh, nice. So you can still get him, and he's already been upgraded with two physical. Wow. Because obviously no pace, and then one's across the board elsewhere. And like I say, if this card wasn't already good enough, it is now absolutely ridiculous. I think Maestro or Marksman, Marksman's brilliant, gets his dribbling right up there. Gets his pace up there, gives him some good physical boost. Maestro is brilliant because it gets his passing upgraded, but his play styles, chem styles, play styles, sorry, are very good with tick attack and whip pass. I think I had this opinion the first time around, and I think I still have it now, that actually engine might be the best play for him, even though you don't get the pace boost. The only other chem style that gives him passing and dribbling is artist, but it doesn't boost balance. Um, it does give him ridiculously good passing, but engine gives him basically like you know just super elite dribbling. 
99 vision, 99 crossing, 99 short passing. He's got a little bit low curve and a little bit low long pass, but he's got whipped pass plus, which kind of takes care of that. So I would give him an engine, even though you miss out on any pace boost that it would offer. And just what a card, what an absolutely banging SBC that was from EA Sports. We've got Emmanuel Petit. France only got one goal, so he didn't get any boosts yet. And Aurelien Schuermeni's, um special card, uh, he didn't get an appearance either, so no upgrade for him. Now, I think it was unexpected. Well, not even think it was unexpected. It was obviously unexpected because um, they only have two cards in the game. And obviously, you know, it was, they didn't expect, nobody expected them to win. However, Bozenic has got his chemistry boost for the appearance. He didn't get a goal or an assist. Skriniar has got an upgrade. And he's, he has gone up in price a little bit. And deservedly so as well. Because I've got this card on one of the Road to Glories that I'm running right now. And he was 50k when I had him. Was as low as 37,000 coins, guys. I, may, maybe I was wrong. People asked me last week, should they invest in these cards? I said no. I couldn't see them going up in price. Um, I was wrong. They've gone up massively. This Skriniar as a 93 rated was un. Believable. Interesting how he's got such good short pass, long pass, and he only got plus twos here and here. No composure, didn't get a plus two anywhere there. He's mostly lengthy though, and this card is just very, very, very good. Um, you know, an anchor chem style on him, mostly lengthy with great pace, great defending, great physicals, good dribbling for a centre back with 98 reactions and 99 composure. And then although his vision isn't very good, his short pass, long pass is great. And you know, when we speak about players and how they have aura in game, Skriniar absolutely has aura. He is just a beast in game. Is he likely to get any further upgrades? No. But this card is just very good anyway. And I really, really, like I say, really like him in game. I've thoroughly enjoyed playing with him. Um, he's actually at the top of his price range as well, pretty much, which is quite, quite nice. Um, so. A big upgrade for him there, or a nice upgrade for him there anyway. And last but not least, we've got the Romanians. They don't have too many cards either. They've got Ratiu, who is, of course, the season pass player, who, again, was one of those cards that was just nice in-game. Like, he, was, you know, he wasn't, like, outstanding or anything, but he was nice. He's been given ones across the board, apart from in the two stats where he already had 99s. He's got three-star, four-star. He's got... I mean, he's got a good card. His passing's a little bit meh. Um, you know, I think he's got some really good defensive play styles. And so I probably wouldn't be looking to boost his defending with a chemistry style if you've still got this card. I'd probably be looking to give him an engine. Gets his pace right up there. His dribbling right up there. He's got good defending and good physical anyway. And it boosts his passing really nicely. Makes him a really well-rounded fullback. And because of his play styles, like I say, with ball control and specifically with defending... He's just really, really strong. He's really, really good. And of course, he gets two chem points off the jump. And this is one of the first season pass cards that you get. I think EA think that, or EA thought, and, and you know, deservedly so to a degree, that these cards just wouldn't get upgraded anyway, or any in any way, which is why I think, for example, Dragusin got such a good card in the first place, because it's unlikely he'll get an upgrade. However, he's now only one clean sheet away, which won't be easy, but won't be impossible, but he's one clean sheet away from getting an upgrade, which would be unreal for this card. And uh, Ratu, unfortunately, is two wins away from getting a Playstyle Plus. I don't think that's going to be coming. Let's be real. The other really interesting card here, guys, is Haji. What are the upcoming fixtures? Yeah, Belgium. I mean, they could get a clean sheet against Slovakia, especially if it's in a situation. If Slovakia beat or draw against Ukraine, a draw with Romania would probably suit, suit them both as going through in second place, assuming Belgium get a win against Romania, going in second place and then third place on four points for the best third place finishers, a draw might suit them. So a nil, nil, you, you, know, you could easily see a nil-nil draw between Slovakia and Romania, 100%. This Haji card is only one goal away from getting a play style plus. Somebody in the comment section yesterday rightfully said the 99 face card stat where it says one play star plus or a 99 face card stat the 99 face card stat is for goalkeepers because they can't get play star pluses uh whereas the outfield players will always get the play star plus so haji is only one goal away from getting his fourth play star plus however 
the fact that this card anyway got an upgrade from the 95 is just unreal because again i think ea expected him to get basically no upgrades and so they already gave him an insane card he's now got a ridiculously insane card five star five star finesse shot plus incisive pass plus dead ball plus chip shot power shot long ball whip pass technical rapid flare press proven and relentless with outrageous passing stats Great shooting stats apart from finishing. Very good pace. Very good dribbling. And I think an engine chem style is what I'd apply to him. Gives him elite dribbling, max pace, elite passing, very good physicals, and very good shooting. And if you've managed to pick up this Haji, what I really like about this card is he can play left mid as well as center mid. Uh, so just in terms of like starting him to like build your team, it's a great option. And if they get one more goal, just one more goal in two games... And you know their heads, their tails are going to be up now. They're going to be, they're going to be going for it. He could end up getting a new playstyle plus, and wouldn't it be amazing if he got, for example, ping pass plus, or maybe even bruiser plus or quick step plus would be like legit for him. I'm not sure if EA will turn one of the other playstyles into a playstyle plus. If they do, power shot plus would be amazing. I believe he'd be the third first player to have three playstyle pluses in the shooting category. But we're going to have to wait for those uh, those games to come. So that's what we've got for today, guys. As I say, it's a bit, a bit, bit disappointing that Rabio hasn't been upgraded yet. Um, I thought this SPC was great when it came out. And uh, yeah, a good win for France, a tough win for France. And once he does get his upgrade, he's going to be banging. But that is going to be the end for today, guys. I'll be back later with the 6pm content. As always, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.